point of time in their lives. And if, even if you go back as far as 50 to 70 years, we find buildings like the Pompidou Center, we have uh, buildings like uh, the Lloyds Building, designed by uh, Richard Rogers. We've got uh, buildings like the uh, HSBC headquarters, you know, designed uh, by Norman Foster and partners. And if you look back, and uh, we're talking about 50 to 70 years back, and we find some interesting explorations on what can result in building typologies if one starts reversing the usual way that we've been uh, putting services into our buildings. And uh, the results are quite astounding and interesting. And in many cases, uh, they've actually helped in building more efficient spaces. Uh, they've sort of broken the mold uh, uh, in terms of uh, the way you would look at a building typically. And uh, they've sort of been uh, the center of conversation to communities that have interacted with those buildings. And all just purely by rethinking how services and plumbing can actually function in a building.